Hello and welcome to the High School Huddle along with Ronnie Phillips, Phil Nichols, Chris Evans with you. We get set for the 2023 high school football season. Today, we take a look at the Sand Springs Sendites. But before we do that, let's hear from one of our great sponsors of the High School Huddle. The High School Huddle is presented by Generations Church. Love God, love people, serve both well. Contact Generations Church by calling 405-282-6848 or visit them online at generationsguthrie.com. Sand Springs Sendites, they have played 12 games the last three seasons, so they know all about making the playoffs. 7-5 uh, last year, 8-4 and four the year before, 7-5 the year before. Head coach Bobby Klink really got things going. Now, when you look at Sand Springs, we'll see it here in a minute. Their schedule is uh, pretty heavy uh, in 6A2 football, along with their non-district schedule. It's a lot of in intriguing matchups. There's there's a few heavy favorites in there, but it's really a lot of toss-up games that will be interesting this year with Sand Spring Sand Springs Sendites. It's really a good mix this year, and uh, they got a great running back in uh, in Keaton Page yep. that will help them to a lot of victories this year. Uh, their schedule will uh, again, it's well balanced. A lot of great games this year. Yeah, I mean Kenneth Page, I think, is a great running back, and he's he, he's coming back. Had a great year last year. Had a big game again in that uh, rival game with Sepulpa last year, over yeah. two hundred yards rushing. But, you know, you're, you hit it right on the head. You know, you got – you look at the schedule, we'll, which we'll go through here in a second. You know, unbelievable top amount of toss-up games. So, yeah. this this yeah. is a tough one to pick a record on because two or three games could definitely go either way. Yeah, Sand Springs will have a, uh, a tough game there in week two. Tough game right off the top of the bat, too, as we take a look at the schedule for the Sendites. And, uh, man – one through four, I mean, hello, and then Tahlequah, then boom, Stillwater, Booker T, Bartlesville. I mean, that's what we're talking about this, yeah. this season. Uh, will be very fun to watch Sand Springs. I imagine a lot of fourth quarter ball games. Yeah, a lot of fourth quarter yeah. ball games, and, and this is you get in the, at the end of the year. You know when you when you go into that Bartlesville Booker T U S Grant U S Grant's a game they will win. Booker T, you just don't know. I mean, you just don't know with and Booker those are the T. Games you got to win. You got to win yeah, those games. You yeah. got to win the Bartlesvilles. You got to win the you know, Putnam City West. I think they'll get through that one easily. Um, Tahlequah, you know, you, it's it's one of those games. Yeah, Muskogee, win. that's a game that I think most people have Muskogee picked to win. Yeah. Ponca City, I think, is going to be one of those tough games for yep. Sand Springs. You know, so they could start the year 0-4. They could start the year 2-2. Two and two. They could start the year – I mean, but but I think for sure, you know, this is a ball club that you, you cannot sleep on no matter who it is they're playing. Yeah, no doubt. And if you win, the confidence is there. If you start losing, you start losing it. And that can play a factor in all these yeah. games that we, that we think will be – deep into the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at the Sand Springs Sand Knights one more time. There's the schedule. It is now time for our predictions. And when we talked about this in, in pre-production, we all kind of went to our little own little corner, and we all came back with the exact yeah. same record. Yeah. Six and four, and that is just exactly how, when you look at the schedule, you see six and four. Now, what are the six wins? What are the four losses? You can yeah. probably debate that for 30 minutes. Now, yeah. Underdogs against Bixby, underdogs against Muskogee, underdogs against Stillwater. Yep. After that, you have an argument. Yeah, Sepulpa's an argument. Ponca City's an argument. I mean, there are definitely some teams. Booker T, I think, is going to be there. So, you know, we just don't know what's going to happen. This is one of the, those teams, that, like we said, could go either way. That Ponca City game, yeah. I was almost 5-5. Five and that, five. That's most interesting for me as well. I was almost 5-5 five and five yep. because yeah. of that Ponca City game. Ponca City picked to finish third in their district this year. Sand Spreaks picked picked to finish third as well um, in there. So, it, you know, it's – or excuse me, um, yeah, in their district as well. So, two teams going in preseason, picked to finish third in the respective districts. So, should be a heck of a ball game that week three against Punk City. No doubt about that. Be sure to follow the high school huddle all season long. You can do that by going to YouTube and searching – Second Banana Media. There you will find a bunch of podcasts, including the High School Huddle. Subscribe and like and be notified when we go live or shows like this. We go live beginning August 16th every Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. We will have uh, the High School Huddle Top 5, the Top 10 Games of the Week, our thoughts on as we spotlight student-athletes. And then you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all right there. It all comes together at secondbananamedia.com for all the information. You can find all the clicks and all the links right there. We wish the Sand Springs Sand Knights the best of luck this year, and we wish your football team the best of luck as well. We appreciate you tuning in to the High School Huddle.